hello dear friends welcome back to high point again in this video we are going to learn about another important uh, concepts related to cultural studies known as media urbanism this is going to be a very short video we will quickly see what is media urbanism because we have uh, all the concepts that we are going to see in this video we have already seen i'm just summing the up them uh, under media urbanism okay before going into the video if you have not subscribed to the channel subscribe to and add impress the bell icon so that you get a notification and also uh, follow me on instagram my id is right here if you are interested to have more contents related to english language and literature relevant for your nta ugc net jr of english language and literature paper 2 and also and also visit my website uh, so that you get a comprehensible idea about what you have to learn what you have to cover and revise for your nta ugc net jr of english language and literature paper 2 if you are interested to have this online study materials which are well arranged and simplified you can subscribe to the course from the channel itself from the website itself and uh, you can if you wanted to have any more details further details you can use this whatsapp number and also if you have any doubts queries questions you can also mention that through this whatsapp number okay about media urbanism let's have an introduction first of all with the expansion of information and communication technologies uh, geographical spaces are connected as never before see i will request you to watch the previous videos because otherwise you will find it uh, nothing because you will find that there is nothing in this video i believe that you have watched the previous videos that's why i have an abrupt beginning i have a sudden begin beginning because if you have not seen the previous videos you will find that you know you will wo you won't find any connection okay so i request you first to go and see the uh, previous videos that we have done in this lecture series of cultural studies the playlist is available in the i button and the previous video is also available there okay so with the expansion of information and communication technologies what are they the social media network internet uh, tv radio so every other things every other communication and information technologies that are available in our fingertip actually collapsed geographical spaces into one or actually um, you know the geographical boundaries became irrelevant so the, the, the far away geographical spaces got connected as never before because of the expansion and because of the spread and availability of information and communication technologies that we are all aware of. It becomes increasingly difficult not to accept David Harvey's famous view of postmodernism. About postmodernism, we have done a detailed video. You can check that in the playlist. Postmodernism as characterized by space-time compression when one recognizes that the caribbean was updated on the internet in despite of the time difference okay so what happens um, you know time space time compression that's what you have to understand in here if you watched the postmodernism the video about postmodernism then this is more easy to understand okay that's what i told you go and watch the previous videos one by one otherwise you will find this video empty so it is very Difficult in order to accept David Harvey's famous view about postmodernism. What he told, postmodernism is characterized. The main feature of postmodernism is space-time compression. How it happened? Through the expansion of information and communication technologies. Ta space-time compression means that, see, I am sitting in India and I suppose I have a friend in America. If I want to talk to that person, I can just take my phone and dial or I can uh, through WhatsApp, I can call through many other platforms. I can uh, not only talk, I can see, I can, you know, more than seeing and uh, speaking, metaverse is there. It is emerging, right? The augmented reality is uh, emerging. It is still there. See, we are, can sit there and we can use some gadgets and we can, um, you know, create our uh, meta self and we can get into that metaverse and we can participate in meetings. We can do our jobs. We can do everything that we are doing in, a, in our more normal life by sitting in a place itself. Okay. So space time compression is what's happening in postmodern time according to david harvey and it is it is unavoidable this concept is uh, nobody can you know uh, nobody can pretend that you don't know uh, space-time compression anymore in this postmodern world 
notions of space have to be radically redefined in such a context of media governed and techno generated space that duplicates replicates substitute for real spaces so that's what i was telling about metaverse the metaverse is duplicating or replicating or substituting the real spaces so the space ne we need to what is the definition that we are going to we are giving to space it need to be radically redefined because space the concept itself is changing you know because of this technological generator media generated spaces that is emerging in our life it is duplicating replicating and substituting the real spaces the new urbanism is ir irreducibly media rule the new urbanism urban means something related to town right and something related to town um uh, structure of town the concept related to town and city so media urbanism means media has created a new kind of urban space that is media ruled that is technology ruled information and communication technology is ruled television now links diaspora communities with their homeland see television as a communication medium as a uh, technology you can see that diaspora communities means what a community who or a person who uh, goes to another country from far away from their uh, land and their culture and society and language and they settle there the group of people went from one community to settle in another extremely strange and uh, different kind of society they settle there and they go there for various pur for education purpose for uh, job pur purpose most probably or they migrate from one place to another and they settle there they have a kind of longing for their homeland so television do a kind of favor to them by linking this diasporic communities to their homeland they see tv serials they see uh, tv programs from uh, in the tv channels from their homeland okay tv series create a cultural space where home and foreign are linked through structure of social familial and economic relations so by watching the tv serials they get a link to their homeland they see their culture their codes once they shared their they saw the cultural uh, they see the cultural uh, symbols portrayed in tv serials and all so they distinguish these tv serials they create a cultural space where home and foreign are linked through structure of social familial and economic relations transnational television channels are available or most of the channels tv sh channels national televisions are transnational television channels only because transnational in the sense these tv channels are available in foreign lands without considering the boundaries of the nation okay we get foreign channels and our channels are available in foreign lands transnational television brings cultural values see they brings cultural values our homelands consumer products from our homelands political culture see not only for, for the uh, diasporic communities it is available from their homelands but for us too those who are in our homelands you no know, the cultural values of other nation cultural values of other group of people consumer products from other group of people other lands and political culture from other land also get influenced that's why political things are available to anybody who has a cell phone consumer products are also available cultural values are also real that's have all these things have a crucial influence in our life that our culture will change our culture is only a mix there is no fixed culture and all but it will in a tremendously will uh, get uh, influenced by uh, through all these cultural values consumer products and political cultures that are available through these transnational television channels one can discover exactly what new models of cars are available us to set of fashion and the wt os uh, policies on fertilizer subsidy so this is what i was telling see exactly what you want to know about the latest thing available in a particular thing uh, in a particular field what is the latest thing or the old thing or the ancient thing anything is discoverable anything is available through the social media that is media alters urban values by opening up cultural spaces so that's what new media urbanism so media alters the values urban values are by opening up these kind of new cultural spaces life and lifestyle about lifestyle we have done a previous video do watch that life and lifestyle in such a connected city can never be homogeneous see we have a city in here chennai is here and new york is there these cities are connected 
it is they are not separate even though we share a same globe and all you know they are far away but through this medium the, through this uh, communication technologies lifestyles life in cities are connected we cannot have a homogeneous culture homogeneous um, you know a kind of uh, same kind of culture for everyone in a society people have different kind of culture everybody even though we share a common culture we believe that we share a common culture but it, uh, individual differences will be there while you practice the customs in a culture but still we view that india has a special kind of culture we view that america has a special kind of culture but they are not homogeneous cultures because cultural values are affected uh, through this transnational communication media there is an increase in cosmopolitanization of space about cosmopolitanism also we have done a, a previous video you can watch that i'm go not going to um, introduce the concept here there is an increasing cosmopolitanization of space that means urbanization of space the concept of space is urbanized and also people are more and more get influenced by the other values cultural other people's cultural values they uh, can use consumer products if you are buying consumer products and you are domesticating that consumer products you are bringing those things into your domestic familial space then you are bringing consumer culture into your home into your uh, you know your own personal culture and you are you are uh, a consumer of that culture okay it's not sim uh, simple or separate okay now that's all about uh, uh, media urbanism i hope this was clear to you that it's quite simple for us to understand we are because we are going through that okay so meet you in the next video session uh, don't forget to visit my website and also follow me on instagram use this whatsapp number to reach out me if you want any help further in your studies of english language and literature um, let me know your impressions uh, press the like button if you like this video and also meet you in the next video session until then stay tuned to high point and thank you for watching this video tata bye bye